The day has finally come. My algae has arrived. I'm so excited. I haven't been waiting that long since I've ordered it, but it feels like it's been a while since I've been preparing for this day. Check out my algaes. I got two different algaes. Woo, woo, woo. So in this video, I'm going to unbox the two live algae cultures that I just received. I'm gonna observe them underneath the microscope. A lot of people talk about algae quality. I wanna see what it looks like right after I receive it from the growers. Finally, I'm gonna transfer the cultures into the grow kits that they gave me. Like I said, they're from Algae Research and Supply. I ordered two different types of algae. I ordered spirulina and chlorella vulgaris. I ordered the 50 milliliter grow kits. That comes with the uh, algae cultures, uh, growing salts, and a growing nutrient media. There's a set of growing instructions. Inside of each of these, we have the growing container, two little vials of the algae, algae nutrients, it says add to 500 milliliters of bottled water, spirulina culture salts, add to 500 milliliters of filtered water, algae culturing manual. Looks like the manual contains a lot of different types of algae that they probably provide. Talks about things like uh, ideal pH, light conditions, industrial uses. Looks like the bottle itself has some air vent holes up in the top. This is a 40 milliliter container. At least the top line there is to 40 mil. So before we get into that, let's look at the culture underneath the microscope and see what we can find. Ooh, all right, very clear. You can clearly see the spirulina. There's a couple things I'm looking for here. One, I just wanna see what the spirulina looks like underneath the microscope. Two, I wanna make sure there aren't any contaminants within it. We're gonna take a quick look at the chlorella vulgaris. Just moving this bubble back and forth to try to break up the pellet. Hopefully I got some on there. Nice. I definitely got some on there. You can see how different the organism size is. Live cultures look great. They look healthy from what I can see. They look nice and green. Very cool. That's what the pamphlet looks like. Very helpful, thank you. Let's go ahead and grow it. So since it's in this funky little tube, I'm trying to break up the pellet at the bottom as much as possible. You can see the pellet sort of floating around and breaking up a little bit. First, we're gonna add salts into my container here. I have my distilled water here and I'm gonna make 500 milliliters of this media. First you add the salts into the container and then you want to add your 500 milliliters of distilled water. I'm gonna shake this up to mix it up. The reason why you want to use distilled water or filtered water is a couple different reasons. One, you don't want any chlorine in the water. Algae can be very sensitive to chlorine. Uh, chlorine is naturally a sanitizing agent, so it might kill the algae that you have. The other reason why you wanna use filtered water is because you don't want any other organisms in your water. Any other bacteria or other types of algae might be present within your water, so you wanna make sure you have a very clean water source to begin your culture growth. Now I'm going to add grow nutrients. Now that I have my media ready, I'm going to add 
looks like 40 milliliters into this bottle. And then I'm gonna add both of my spirulina live cultures. I unfortunately don't have a pipette for this, so I'm gonna have to just do my best pouring from a wide mouth mason jar into this tiny little opening. Not too bad, I didn't spill a drop. This is actually exactly 40 milliliters. Now I'm gonna add the spirulina live cultures. Here's the other one. You really can't see very much in here, but hopefully this is enough to get the culture going. Okay, so now that we've done the spirulina, let's go ahead and do the chlorella vulgaris. All right, so same as last time, we're gonna add the salts into the container first. Then I'll do 500 milliliters of distilled water. I'm gonna add the nutrients. Now that I've added the algae culture nutrients, I can add the live chlorella vulgaris cultures. I totally just added this to the water. Shouldn't have done that. Well, like I said, it'll be a part of the experiment. We'll just use this one tube then of looks like one milliliter. I've got the Chlorella vulgaris in there now. Unfortunately, I didn't get all two milliliters into here. I accidentally put one into here, but I think it'll still be okay. So now that's a accidental experiment. Now what I'm gonna do with my cultures is I'm gonna keep them out of direct sunlight for about three to seven days. The spirulina is going to receive more sunlight than the chlorella vulgaris. And I'm also not gonna stir them very much over the next 24 to 48 hours. After the initial three to seven days, I'll make sure to be documenting all of this, but I'll begin moving them into their most optimal environment. That's everything you need to know about the first steps of growing algae at home. I hope you found it useful and I'll be making sure to post more videos and updates as I go. I eventually want to get to the point where I have one large culture of each and then I can run some side experiments of my own. All right, well, I hope to have lots of dense, healthy algae cultures in the future and I'll keep you all updated.